Will you stop worrying? What could possibly happen to me inside a mission of all hallowed places? I saw the name of the rose. You want me to make a list? You're being followed, Mason. Somebody is out to get you. What's going to stop them from following you to the mission? I hope they do. Oh, that's great. That's terrific. First they get Cruz, then they'll get that's you. It's precisely they... because of Cruz that I'm doing this. Will you take off the hair shirt just for a minute, Mason? What if they recognize you in the mission? I won't be recognized as a bum, Julia. I've been running around as a white-collar bum for years, hiding behind scotch and sarcasm. Now I have a chance to put all that experience to good use. You better get the door. They better go. Hi. Am I interrupting? Uh, no. Why, welcome, Father. To what do we owe the pleasure of this unexpected visit? May I ask why you are dressed like that? I was doing a little work under the house. My God, Mason, couldn't you even put up some pretense and wait till the sun goes down? It's barely past noon. <clears throat> I have a watch, Dan, and if this is another temperance lecture, I think you can just kind of stuff it. Well, I came to talk to you about Eden, but I can see I, I was under the delusion I might find you sober. What about Eden? I thought I might find it interesting that uh, she's sitting at home, wondering, half out of her mind, worrying whether her husband is dead or alive, but you... doesn't matter, you don't give a damn. True to form, when the going gets tough, you uh, manage to slip into a whiskey bottle and uh, pull the cork in right after you, don't you? You're not being fair, Cece. Well, that's all right, Wait, Julia. Yeah. The man obviously has something to say. Let's let him say it, though I have a pretty good idea of what's coming. I got nothing to say to you when you like this. What's the matter, Dad? Lose your nerve? Oh, I know. You're wishing it was me that was missing instead of Cruz, don't you? That'd be better for you and for the whole family, wouldn't it? A uh, tidy little end to a nasty little problem. Well, what's the matter, Dad? Cat got your tongue? Don't tell me I've shocked you. Huh? You want to know what I wish? I wish to God, for once in your life, you might consider someone other than yourself. Since you obviously can't handle any responsibility, I guess I expected too much. What was that all about? Why didn't you tell him the truth? Why well, you let him talk to you like that? No, nobody else can know. I let it be known that I was being followed, and look what happened to Cruz. Now, Dad's right, Julia. I've been a coward. Now it's time I took responsibility for my actions. For all of them. I gotta get to the bottom of this. By myself. 